I'm Ferrari with University TV here at Catawba College, and I thought it'd be a nice way to start our tour and our day with a little relaxation and a little meditation. So I'm gonna go join this class. Catawba College is located in historic Salisbury, North Carolina directly between Charlotte and Greensboro. The college is only a few hours from the mountains and beaches, so students have plenty of options for entertainment. Catawba College has 35 buildings in its nearly 300-acre campus. The college also has a 300-acre wildlife refuge, and this is the 189-acre ecological preserve for students to explore. We have a state-of-the-art environmental science center that is uh, constructed of predominantly recycled materials uh, and looks out over a beautiful preserve which our students uh, get to get out in and get into and uh, observe. I'm in an ornithology class right now and we actually went out there and captured birds and banded them and uh, actually like studied their habitat and that kind of thing, so it was pretty interesting. Enrollment at Catawba is nearly 1,300 students. The male to female ratio is almost equal, with 56% representing the guys. Incoming freshmen who are seeking admission into Catawba College should be well-rounded, having a diverse involvement in extracurricular activities. In addition, the college typically looks for a score of 950 on the SATs, a GPA of 3.0 or better, and letters of recommendation. All Catawba undergrads will pay close to $34,000 in tuition and housing annually. With a strong emphasis on a liberal arts education, students have 40 majors to select from. <laughs> Some of the most popular majors are environmental science, business, theater, and music. My classes are very interesting. They're, as a liberal arts school, um, the wide array of topics, and that's nice because for kids who don't know what they want to do, um, it's nice to have options. Um, they're very interesting. I'm part of the honors program. In our honors program, what we'd like to do is have professors from different departments come together and team teach a course where they can integrate their disciplines in sort of a unique way. Become a part of the Catawba family with close personal attention from the faculty members. Almost 80% of those professors hold a PhD or a terminal degree in their field. The first day of class, if they don't know you, they'll get to know your name and they will be able to, you know, talk to you and they'll give you their cell phone number so that you can call them any time of day and they're always available 24-7. This is a place of all kinds of opportunity. If it, isn't th if it isn't here and you want it to be here, you create it. I had started teaching Spanish as an adjunct, sort of pinch hitting in the foreign language department. I had been an undergraduate major in Spanish, but I hadn't studied abroad for a lot of years. And I decided to take myself to Costa Rica to bone up. I told my Spanish class I was going, and they said, well, you really will have to take us. That happened in March, and by May, I had cobbled together the first version of the summer program. I took nine students that year, and uh, it grew from there, and now it's, it's up to 30 students a year. We're taking this trip to Bonaire uh, next January. We've got a trip going to Japan next January to study theater and music. We've ranked as one of the best theater departments in the country several years in a row. And I think one of the nice things about that program in particular is that students really get hands-on experience. You, you get to build a set. Um, you're not just doing at bigger universities. Sometimes what you spend time doing is one thing that you focus on. And here you get to do, you're gonna do everything. And which I think when students go out to get jobs, that does help them. The men's baseball team is one of 18 Catawba Indian varsity sports teams to compete at the Division II level in the South Atlantic Conference. I'm warm enough to take a couple of hits myself. <laughs> that was good Catawba College has five residential living options, plus five brand new apartment buildings, so students are never far from the action on campus. I've lived in a dorm since freshman year, and uh, living on campus, I think it's great. I live in one of the newer dorms for the upperclassmen, junior, seniors, and I have my own bathroom with my roommate. 
um, and we have our kit we have a kitchen and we have a living area so it's really nice to be able to if you don't want something in the calf today or you want to get up and cook breakfast you can future Indians listen up Catawba offers 40 clubs and organizations so get involved I am a member of eco we are an environmental group um, we have a recycling fashion show coming up soon that's always exciting on the Friday night events, we watch movies, we play games. So whether you're in tune with nature or enjoy the feeling of a close-knit community, Catawba College may be the place you've been looking for. So that's today's tour of Catawba College in Salisbury, North Carolina. I'm Ferrari with University TV, and I'm out of here.